My dad was starting up the Browns in 46, and he brought in Marion. I was 12 years old, and I'll tell you, when you have a hero when you're 12 years old, he's a hero that you have for the rest of your life. He's a hero for me for as long as I live. The great players of any era can play in any other era, and Marion was one of those. If he walked in today, he'd start for any team in the league. In his era, I think he was the best of the fullbacks. He was a big man. The mammoth motley, 238 pounds of football dynamite. He was 40, 50 pounds bigger than some of the guys that were playing in his day. Motley football's version of the atomic bomb. He was like Earl Campbell in more recent times, that he was a collision runner. He'd hit people and they'd fall off and he'd keep going. Big Marion Motley had a great day. He took a handoff from Otto and pulled and galloped his way for 58 yards. Old Mariuch is feared, and you got the idea why when he got moving on this one. And in his prime, boom, he had a burst to him. Boom, boom up the middle, taking off like a GI on a three-day pass. He shows his tremendous drive. Counting his four years in the old All-America Football Conference and five in the NFL, Marion Motley averaged 5.7 yards per carry, still the highest career average among running backs in pro football history. He was a great runner, but he was more than a great runner. My dad used to say that Marion was the greatest all-around player ever. He was perhaps the best pass protecting back ever. He could take these rushers and just stone them. He just stopped them. And he was a willing blocker on runs. Touchdown number one, off tackle, with Motley throwing the key block. He had great hands. The Browns used to run a lot of wide flares and screens. He was a real threat at that. Beyond that, he was a guy who could go in and play as a linebacker. And the Browns used him as a linebacker in short yardage situations. He was considered the most talented of the Browns linebackers. He had the most physical ability. Browns played for the championship of their league in all eight of Motley's years with the team, winning five titles. We had some great players with those old teams. He ranked up there with Otto Graham. They were the two really key guys at the beginning of the Browns. It's the beginning of Motley's career that may be his most lasting legacy. In 1946, a full year before Jackie Robinson debuted with the Brooklyn Dodgers, Motley was one of four African-American players to break pro football's color barrier. We took a lot of abuse. Anything that they gave out, we took it, but we dished it back to them. I'd get my licks in. I kicked butts and took names, I can tell you that. And it made them respect us too. So I think I did what I had to do and did it right. It's been a long time since he came into pro football. And memories fade. People uh, probably don't have him in mind like they have later guys. But he was as good as any of them. I'm pretty selective. I don't have so many of them that I consider super, but I consider Marion Motley super.